Hello, Facebook Live. Jamie here. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Give everybody a few minutes to log in. Uh, it is happy hour with Jamie time, or um, uh, what do I call it? Cocktail time. Um, hello, hello. Um, hope everybody is good. Um, clicking off there. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. Hello, Ralph. Um, hello. If you are watching me live, you can um, just give me a comment or wave or say hi so that I know that you're here. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Candace. Um, hi, everybody. It is Tuesday. Um, it is happy hour time with Jamie. So hello. Hi, John. Um, good afternoon to everybody. Um, today was a little cooler day. It was beautiful. I went out for a run. I did a two mile run. I went to the gym. I did some weights. A little hard still to uh, be in a gym with uh, a mask on, so that's a little difficult. But um, hello, hi Dawn. Um, hello everybody, thank you. I know Marcus is on. Um, I think he's sharing this um, as well, so thank you. Um, Tuesday, we are closed. Tuesdays and Wednesdays here at Aroma Time, we are closed for our full hours. Just gives Marcus and I an opportunity to do some odds and end things without being stressed about opening at five o'clock um, on Tuesdays, so that's nice. And Wednesdays, we've been closed um, through most of um, COVID, uh, or even before COVID, we were closed. We opened for a short period of time on Wednesday nights, uh, just not knowing what was going to be happening, um, if they were gonna shut us down, keep us open, so we were, we were open as much as we could. So, hello, Candace. hi, Dawn, hello, Bernadette. Um, I appreciate everybody watching me, so thank you very much. Um, in a little while, uh, Marcus and I will be doing our wine time live with Jamie and Marcus, um, so stay tuned with, for that. So I'm starting with a cocktail, and then we're moving to wine. Um, I love our wine time. Um, we just started that. That is really fun. We pull a bottle of wine off of our list um, out of the restaurant, uh, a winery that we've been to, that we can talk about, that we can tell you our stories, we can tell you all about um, traveling with us and how fun it is and how awesome it is and um, how wineries roll out red carpets for us and just the treatment that we get and, and just all of that fun stuff that goes uh, along with traveling on a wine uh, trip with uh, Marcus and I to Italy. So um, we will be live shortly. Um, hello, Bill. Hello, Kelly. Thank you everybody for watching me. I appreciate it. Um, I think this is my 120th episode. Is that correct, Marcus? Close. Well, I think it's 119 or 120, uh, 20th episode. So um, I appreciate that. I've been doing these since the beginning of March. Um, they're fun for me. I really, really, really um, miss having people uh, at the bar, sitting with me, making drinks, talking to me. So this gives me an opportunity to talk to you, uh, make a drink with you, um, connect with you, talk to you, hear from you, and also gives me an opportunity every day to make a drink. So it's really fun um, for me to be able to do that. Um, if those of you that are tuning in may not know this, but we have been a grocery store slash wine and spirits um, shop uh, since the beginning of COVID. We are also open here at Aroma Time, but um, we have groceries available. You can go to aromatimebistro.com. Um, and go under menus. I think our grocery menu is on there. You can call, uh, order groceries, email me uh, your order. Uh, we'll pack it up, get it ready for you. You can come pick it up. So a lot of the items that we use here in the restaurant are available for you to take home and uh, cook or use at home. So we have a lot of wine, we have a lot of spirits. Um, so really cool stuff. We have a cranberry gin, we have a rye, we have a bourbon, we have an awesome, Carolina cream. Um, I think that's a bourbon, right, Marcus? Is that a bourbon? Bourbon cream. Bourbon, cream, bourbon, rum, cream. bourbon rum cream. We have, um, uh, let's see, we have vodka. We have some seltzers. We have Q tonic. I have Moscow mules to go. I have uh, two chicks, uh, margarita uh, in a can to go. So a lot of cool, cool things. Um, but that's not what I'm here for today. I'm just here to. Uh, you know, make a drink for you, but I also give you information on aroma time. So um, let's see. So today I am making a variation um, and vodka. Does vodka belong in this drink is the title of my uh, Facebook Live today. Um, I am going to be making a Negroni. 
but I'm going to be making a vodka Negroni. And what do they call it, Marcus? Negroski. A Negroski. Never heard of it before. I stumbled upon it this morning um, on a site that I was on, and I was like, let's try it. What do we have to lose? So let's try a vodka Negroni. Um, do you know what actually goes in a Negroni? Um, I believe it's gin, uh, sweet vermouth, and Campari, but we use a substitute for Campari. We don't use any big brands. Um, but this Negroni is going to have vodka in it, so it's gonna be organic Granger vodka. It's going to be Zamaro, which is a bitters similar to Campari, and uh, sweet vermouth. So three ingredients, one ounce of each simple, um, pour them together and uh, taste away. So I'm gonna put some ice in my glass. I don't know, should I shake it or I'm gonna shake this one? So, what is it called, a Negroski? Negroski. Negroski, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't normally measure out, but um, today I'm gonna measure out one ounce of each. Um, let's just make sure this is, nope, that's not my one ounce. Find my one ounce measuring. There we go, one ounce. Um, so one ounce of each. So one ounce of sweet vermouth. And I'm gonna put it um, in a shaker. Um, and one ounce of vodka. Put it in the shaker. And one ounce of Zamaro, which is similar to a Campari. So it's a bitters. Um, this one comes from Germany. Um, we like pure, we like what they do, um, we love the taste of it, it's really awesome. And I'm going to shake that up for you. Hello everybody, hello Chris, hello Michelle, hello Sean, hi Pam. Thank you everybody for joining me, I appreciate it. Um, Marcus and I are super thankful for all of you and all of your support uh, through the last uh, few um, months. It's been pretty awesome, um, the support. Um, so here is the vodka Negroni. I'm going to top it off with a little orange, which my color is not quite sitting in there. Whoop, there we go. And uh, there you have it, a vodka Negroni. Um, I've never had one before, so this is going to be interesting. I can't wait to taste it. Marcus is taking a picture of me while I'm, while I'm doing this. So hello, Rosie. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you so much again for joining. A vodka Negroni. I'm going to stick my orange into it. Squeeze it a little bit in there, drop it in, and let's see how this tastes today. Let's see, mix it up a little bit. Mm. Now I'm a gin fan, so I love gin. This doesn't have the uh, the aromas that a gin has in it, like the um, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, gin has the botanicals that are in there. It doesn't quite have the botanicals, it just has the vodka, but it's really quite delicious. Mm. So hello Dawn. Dawn had a question. Would love for you to tell us how you make the soda, specifically black cherry. Um, how I make the soda here at Aroma Time, or where the soda comes from. So we use, um, we use a company called Ugave, or Rocky Mountain Soda Company. Um, so the sodas that we have on our on our gun, um, our on our soda gun, um, are either Rocky Mountain soda or agave. So they're sweetened with 100% um, cane sugar or agave. So organic, uh, organic agave. certified organic. Certified organic. The whole line. So is... even the Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain. No, no. just the agave. So I believe the Black Cherry is Rocky Mountain Soda Company. It's 100% cane sugar. Um, so it doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup in it. Um, super clean product. You won't even. It's actually white. Um, they don't put any food coloring in it or anything like that. So I think that's what you're talking about. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure, but Dawn, if you want to message me, uh, message us privately, um, I can give you a call and we, we can talk about that. So um, yeah. So our our sodas on our gun are really cool. So today a vodka Negroni. I have to be honest and say I think I like the regular Negroni better. Um, I like the botanicals and gin, but this is not so bad. Nice and refreshing. Um, I'm going to start getting into um, um, warm cocktails uh, as the fall is coming. I'm going to do stuff with apple cider again. I know I did apple cider back in, in March um, when, when it was uh, maple syrup season. 
Um, and um, I know last night I tried a really cool um, hot chocolate, so I will be sharing that with you. And um, I'll add some uh, liquor to it because I think that'll be a really nice addition um, to our menu here at Aroma Time. I know we're talking, we're going to be starting to get bratwurst in, and we're going to be starting local. to do some some local bratwurst. Um, and our menu is going to be changing a little bit more towards the warmer fall things. Um, we're talking about that kind of stuff. I'm not sure. Are we doing our lobster bake this weekend, Marcus? Um, we are probably just going to be tails only. So um, we will have our lobster bake this weekend, probably just tails only. Um, we're going to start kind of probably weaning that out a little bit um, and bringing in some warmer things um, to keep you nice and warm. Maybe some extra soups and some fun things to keep you warm um, while sitting outside. We have our heaters going, the fire pit going, and um, you know we're still trying aroma time not to seat inside as much as we as much as we can. But we know that is coming to an end soon. So we know that we're gonna have to start seating uh, inside Aroma Time. Um, we're taking day of reservation, so call the day that you wanna come, 647-3000. Um, let's see, what else am I missing here? Stay tuned, Marcus and I will be live again with um, with our Aroma, uh, sorry, our Wine Time Live. Uh, I learned so much. Have you ever considered a cocktail cookbook? Oh, thank you, Susan, I appreciate that. I really haven't. Um, you know, Marcus and I are very simple uh, when it comes to our drinks and our food. We're simple, but high, high quality. And so our bar, we use products that most people will, will never be able to get. So Zamaro, or, or don't know about, not be able to get, but don't know about. So Zamaro, which is awesome, we use an organic vodka. Um, so we're always using cool and interesting, fun things that we find out there. I don't know, maybe that's in my future. Um, we've been labeling all of the, um, we've been labeling all of my happy hours, so I'm up to about 120 right now. Um, I don't know, maybe a cookbook is in my future, I'm not 100% sure. Marcus is great at taking pictures and writing, so I just need somebody to say, hey, I'll write it for you, because um, I'm not as good at that, but um, maybe, you never know. So uh, thank you, I appreciate everybody watching. I'm going to sign off for now, cheers, and we'll see everybody soon.